Good morning, people. It is almost 7 o'clock. I'm finna get ready to go in here, change my things out, put my bedding up, back in this uh, U-Haul storage, and head out back to this food for less to see will they let me get my money out of that ATM. They always cheat me. But I'm making this video about these stores like Walmart, Harbor Freight, Best Buy, stores like that, um, uh, Home Depot, that wants to give you sales warranties on things you buy, electronic stuff like that. Um, me dealing with these warranties, they have, um, when I, in the past, I would not get a warranty because I figured things are supposed to last. They're supposed to last. You understand what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're supposed to last more than 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. You understand what I'm saying? But since these things keep tearing my stuff up, I decided when I went to Best Buy to get a warranty. In case something happened to my JBL uh, Bluetooth speaker. When I went up there, the Bluetooth was $119. And the guy asked me, the cashier asked me, did I warrant the warranty on it for $299? So I said yes, because if it gets torn up, that way it could be replaced. So I said, well, give me the warranty. Then when he rung up my bill, it was much more than I expected. So I asked him why my bill was so high. He said the warranty was twenty nine ninety nine instead of two ninety nine. So I said, will they cover everything? Will that warranty, if something happens, will they cover it? He said, oh, yes. You can just bring it into the store and it will be replaced. No questions asked. So I said, well, give it to me. So I paid that twenty nine ninety nine, that thirty dollars for warranty. And he asked me, he said, "Do you want us to send you an email uh, with the uh, warranty, or do you want uh, a receipt?" I don't know whether I said an email, but I did get the receipt, and the warranty information was on it. And lo and behold, when I got outside of read it, they don't cover anything. You cannot take those items back to the stores. And get a replacement. On, it, the, the warranty says that the only way you get a replacement is if you prove the item was defected, defective from them. You understand what I'm saying? And you have to prove that they were the one at fault of your devices, your electronics not working. Now, we know that's hard to do. So, that $30 that I paid for that warranty does me no good. Because if that, she, if that, the guy in the store said, even if you break it, you you can come in and trade it in. But the warranty doesn't say that. It says... If they, if you break it or something, you have to pay for it. Now, I was just looking at a video that Harbor, about Harbor Freight, and, and it was a, a video encouraging people to buy that warranty. This guy said, ooh, well, I'm going to buy the warranty because uh, the, the store clerk was saying, if Harbor Freight that, anything happened, if you destroy it, you can bring it back. But that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Don't buy them warranties. Don't don't get those warranties. It's not worth it. Because like I said, that thirty dollars that I spent for Best Buy bought me nothing. But I'ma load this one. Walmarts, all these things that offer all these tiny stores in the system that offer warranties at these high prices. 
என்னங்க